cameras have been a huge part in mobile technology but i'm not going right into the camera sensors i'm just wanting to show you guys something that is part of the cameras but they are kind of separate inside the camera module and that's both iphone and samsung but here's a bit of a misunderstanding with samsung cameras people say that there are five cameras on the camera module well kind of but not really so of course we got the usual four camera lenses the main ultra telephoto and periscope but there's one dot that people think that it might be an additional camera lens well it's actually not i said this before guys this is actually called the laser autofocus it was introduced for the galaxy s20 series which they had a bit of a problem so they improved it for the galaxy note 20 ultra which i used to have when i used to play around with my uncle's s20 ultra i don't seem to have any issues with the laser autofocus in fact it did turn out all right i think well probably some people who does own the s20 ultra but when it's iphones they do have like this little dot sitting underneath the main camera sensor that's actually called the lidar sensor unlike the one you see on samsung cameras where they use laser autofocus to focus on objects lidar or lidar it does something similar to that obviously it uses these laser pulses to detect any objects from distance even it uses to help out to create 3d maps and even useful AR or augmented reality which I think is pretty cool because it does use for measurement apps that you can actually use the main camera as the measurement ruler to measure any object or something so that is pretty cool what I like about iPhone cameras. I'm just going to be honest both iPhone and Samsung they have their own perspective when it comes to laser detection well basically focusing on things improving the visual quality creating 3d maps using AR sensors, just anything like that, they both have their own perspectives, which is really cool. 